everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's very early in the morning. I have a long day. I had to be up early. But I'm super excited for today's video because we are going to be t testing out and reviewing the new CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I've been seeing so many reviews on this and I'm like, I want this foundation so badly. So I picked mine up at Walmart the other day. Um, this retails for about $8.50. It depends on where you go. It's a little more expensive at like CVS and Walgreens, but it's around $8.50 at Ulta, at Walmart, that type of thing. Um, so yes, that's pretty inexpensive. Before we get started applying this foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and read a few other claims on this foundation. So first of all, before anything, CoverGirl stepped it up with the shades. There's 40 shades in this foundation, ranging from olive undertone to yellow to pink to neutral, that type of thing. So that's super cool, super big for the drugstore. That's super awesome. It also says that there's a matte formula that, that isn't drying or cakey. Formula is so comfortable and it absorbs oil and minimizes pores for a soft, matte, flawless finish. 12 hours of wear and it's transfer resistant so that's a lot of claims that sounds amazing if you guys want to see me apply this foundation and wear it throughout the day then you guys just go ahead and keep watching so I've already moisturized and primed my face I moisturized with the elf daily hydration moisturizer and I primed with the soap and glory one heck of a blot foundation foundation primer with the primer um I always just apply those two primers um they don't do anything crazy they help with my oil a little bit but I know how they work so I know how they're gonna work under the foundation and if I don't put those primers on I will be an oily mess by like an hour and I promise you and today is gonna be a super active day so I just I had to prepare this is I had to prepare so this says it's 12 hours of wear but we're gonna be testing it out for way longer than that today so that's gonna be cool we're really gonna get to put it to the test so let's just go ahead and get into applying this foundation okay so like in all my other foundation reviews we're gonna be trying out one side with the brush and one side with the sponge so and most of the time I never like the brush so we're just gonna go ahead and start with the brush I'm gonna start applying it and see how it works and if not you know we'll go to a sponge so I actually got this shade L20 which is the third lightest shade but I believe that this is a li the lightest shade the first two looked a lot more yellow and a little darker this is a lot more neutral and a lot lighter so let me go ahead and swatch that for you guys first of all a pump and it has a little twistable top so if you want to push it you can do that and then just lock it so it doesn't push down so this is about the shade of my foundation okay so I'm gonna do the brush side first we're gonna be putting the foundation on this side I'm gonna apply about a pump onto the brush Streak City. Okay, I'm just gonna stop right there and go in with my sponge. Brushes just have so much streaking most of the time, and that's not a cute look. So I'm uh, just gonna go in with my beauty blender. Well, not my beauty blender. The brush that I was using was the um, Morphe M44. M444 and the sponge that I'm using is the Morphe it's like a, the contour it's very 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 light coverage I'm going to try and build it up on the side with the sponge we're just gonna fully use the sponge now because I knew that it probably won't work so I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that on to my sponge and try and build up this coverage So that second layer applied very nicely. It's still not super full coverage, but that's okay. If I need to spot conceal, I will. So that side looks good. It looks very smooth. I don't know if you guys can see it right here. It has some white, like little balls almost on my face. That was not there before, so I know it's not me. That is very odd. Okay, well we're just gonna disregard those little white specks for now. And I'm gonna go in with the foundation on the other side. This foundation spreads a long way, so that's another thing that's good. If 
yeah, those white specks are still on my face. Very, very weird. I'm not sure what that is. So I would say, I would say without building up, that this foundation is probably a light medium coverage. But I will say that it does feel comfortable on the face. Wow, my pores actually look really good. They don't look invisible, but they look a lot smaller than they normally do without any foundation. So the claim of pore minimizing does help. And it is comfortable. I'm it's doesn't really feel like I have anything on the skin so I'm gonna build it up a little bit on this side and then I'll be back in just a few minutes all right guys I am back my makeup is all done um, I didn't have too many problems with my products applying on top um, I actually think my bronzer went on better less patchy than it normally does um, not less patchy um, I think it just went on better than it normally does I did have some trouble with it just looking weird once I um, removed my powder from my smile lines like a little dry so I had to go over it a little bit with my MAC powder but other than that it applied really well my highlight is looking good that's all I care about no I'm just kidding but everything applied very well it is now almost nine o'clock it's 8 55 so I'll be doing some checkouts throughout the day and I'll see you guys at the end of the night Hello everybody, I am here with my midday check-in. It is around 2.30 in the afternoon. I just drove up to Jacksonville. I'm actually here in Jacksonville right now at my little sister's dorm room. And you know, there's people right out there at the pool. So they're probably watching me and being like, what is she doing? But um, the foundation is looking super, super good. Um, I'm creasing a little bit in my smile lines, but other than that, it looks phenomenal. I have no oil really seeping through anywhere. Um, and this morning was a super sweaty morning. I was teaching dance to preschoolers and it was super sweaty and I got super hot. So it's been holding up super well. I'll be wearing it for a lot more today. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Bye. Hello everybody. It is the end of the night. It is, I think midnight. It's about midnight. It's 11.50 in the evening and my makeup has held up pretty well. I, it's breaking up a little bit around my chin and my upper lip area, um, but it's been, it's been a really long day. It's been on for like 15 hours. With all the sweating going on today and all the traveling and all the things that have been going on today, it's been held, held up. It's been holding up really well. So um, I think for this drugstore foundation, it is a total thumbs up and a total win. I'm gonna keep playing around with it and I'm super pleased with how it turned out. So I would totally recommend this foundation to anyone and I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.